welcome back to my channel. I'm Jen. Today's video is going to be a really, really big Poundland haul. I haven't been to Poundland since before lockdown and I thought finally it worked with the courage to go in store. So yeah, and it wasn't busy or anything because I went when it opened and everything's been sanitised also. So yeah, if you really enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm trying to get to 2,000 subscribers by the end of June. That would be great. And please comment down below what your favourite thing was that I picked up. So let's get into the video. Okay, so this is one of two big bags that I picked up. I picked up quite a lot of essentials, but I have used them, so I'm not going to show them like foil and stuff like that. So the first thing that I picked up, which was in like the summery aisle, I picked up this cute little lemon drink holder with a straw. I just thought this would be nice just to put water in or juice and have it outside when the weather's really nice and warm. So yeah, everything in this haul is from the one pound section. Nothing's more than a pound. So yeah, I thought this was just cute. It's just made out of plastic. It does feel a little flimsy, so I don't know how long this will last, but I'm excited to give it a go. I just thought it looked so cute in the summer. So yeah, I'm trying to drink a lot of water a bit more because I'm rubbish at drinking water. So yeah, this is definitely going to help encourage me to do that. The next thing I picked up was this cute little wine glass. This is going to be hard to see because it basically matches my lights at the back. But this has the cutest little gold heart print all over it. Basically, I don't drink. I'm not a big drinker at all. And I only have one wine glass because I just do. I just think I only need one because I only have one drink every so often. And I don't really like alcohol, so I only have like a bottle of rosé or something on like a special occasion or something like that. But Tom smashed my wine glass the other day by accident. Total accident, but that was my only wine glass. And you think it would teach me a lesson to get an, to buy more in bulk. But no, I just wanted one. Like this is nicer than the one that I picked up. Mine was just a plain boring one from Asda but yeah I absolutely love this wine glass and the print on it is so cute I wish it would show up a bit better on camera but yeah so I picked up a wine glass so the next thing I picked up were these mailing envelopes I picked up two packets I have opened this one because I did need to post something but yeah you get four bubble envelopes in here so these are the ones that have like the bubble wrap packaging like stuck inside and this is like a great size it's like a large slash medium you can fit lots of stuff in here I like to sell quite a few bits on Depop like my makeup and sometimes a few clothing bits I'll link my Depop down below if you want to check out some of the makeup things I'm just selling at the minute but yeah these are great you get four these are like the cheapest I've ever found them like these mailing envelopes so I always go and get all my mailing stuff from Poundland definitely worth the price and I I'm not spending loads on just envelopes. Then to go with it, I picked up some postage tape. This is just like really, really wide sticky tape. And this was actually stuck together, but again, I've used it. But yeah, you just get two of these in here stuck together for a pound. And I thought these were really handy because especially when you get like a big box, and I always find it a struggle just to put normal seller tape on because it doesn't stick down properly. So yeah, this is great for if you're sending big packages and stuff like that. So yeah, this is just the next item. I know it's pretty boring. The next thing I picked up were these tea tree cleansing pads. Now I used the, the tea tree foaming face wash and I have used those in the past. So I picked up this because I really like the face wash and these are just soaked pads great for removing makeup making your skin feel fresh and yeah you get 60 in here i just really like tea tree like tea tree things really really suit my skin it just makes me, my skin feel a lot nicer healthier and it also like prevents like blemishes and stuff so yeah i picked up these to try so i'm excited to try these the next thing i picked up were the carex original hand wash this is what you just add water to it's not like a travel hand gel or anything this is just a normal soap wash thing they had lots of these in poundland so if you're struggling to find some at the minute i know like the whole craze of buying like hand wash and hand gel has gone down slightly and we have got more stock but yeah if you really want to get your hands on some this is a really good bottle and it is carex so a good brand only for a pound so yeah definitely pick it up they also had the moisturizing sensitive one of this as well the next thing i picked up was this very very cute pen it just has a like a little sphere on top that's a bit holographic and it's just a pink pen it twists i did test it in the shop to make sure it did work and it does uh, a lot of people had done that as well just because sometimes with Poundland pens you can get one and it doesn't work properly so yeah I'm going to use this I've just bought the law of attraction planner 
and I am going to do a law of attraction video very very soon but I'm definitely going to be attaching this to my planner to use to write stuff down and yeah I just thought it really suited the planner very well as well because my planner is also pink so yeah I'm actually really happy with this pen I think it looks gorgeous and if it was from like Ryman or WH Smith this would probably be at least two pounds so yeah definitely a gorgeous pen for a pound nice good price the next thing I picked up were some always classic pads I'm not going to go into this one but I always find I never find always pads anywhere for a pound apart from Poundland like because these can be like three pounds sometimes so yeah definitely go to Poundland if you want the always brand they also did have the body form brand in there as well so yeah that's all I'm going to say on that the final thing in the first bag is these mint Malteser buttons now this bag has been sat in my room for about five days and it's been hot and then it's been cold and then it's been hot again so these are pro these feel a tad bit melted but i'm not really bothered these are the mint malteser buttons i've never tried these and i remember seeing them in home and bargains a few months ago and i just haven't got around to picking them up so yeah i'm excited to try these because i absolutely love mint chocolate i love after eights i love anything minty i love the aero mint cabris chocolate bar that is so good like anything mint and chocolate i'm here for <laughs> so i am just picking stuff out at random this isn't got lots of food in it this bag or anything this has got more practical stuff that i'm going to be using on a daily basis so the first thing i picked up was this coconut body scrub this is just to help get my tan off because i am starting to fake tan i'm trying my best to match foundations to my skin tone my skin now right now it's tan because i've always struggled in the past so if you have any tips with that let me know in the comments as well but just to help get my tan off before i apply a new layer is this coconut body one gentle exfoliation for silky smooth skin so if you've been watching my channel for a while now i normally buy the big pots of the body scrub from primark i know primark is opening very very soon i think it's next week but I'm not going anywhere near Primark at this minute in time because it's going to be too hectic and the lines are going to be crazy. So yeah, I just picked this up for now until I can get into Primark properly. Yeah, so this is just for taking off my tan. The next thing I picked up was this cute ice lolly fan. Look how cute that is. It, they also had like a yellow one with a blue stick. This one takes two AAA batteries and I actually have those for the first time ever I actually have batteries in my house so I picked this up because I knew I had batteries and when it's just really hot but I like to sit in the garden so yeah I picked this up and it is so cute I just love it yeah again it was in like the summer aisle oh talking about tanning I picked up the Jess Right Beauty reusable self tanning mitt now I picked this up but this doesn't feel that great if I'm being honest it feels a bit a bit crap if i'm being honest but i wanted to give it a go but i think this is going to do literally one use my other tanning mitt is the st moritz one it's fine but i just wanted to get one as a backup just in case that one ever ripped or it was just not working properly so i picked up this one but uh i don't know how well this one's gonna go it feels just like a very thin sponge so yeah i got this tanning mitt the next thing i picked up were these shine and sparkle glitter gel pens you get 10 really really cute gel pens in it that are glittery obviously that's what they're called so you basically get like every color almost in here and gel pens can be sometimes like five pounds to buy yeah i just picked these up just to again write in my journal or if i want to do some coloring or something like that I picked up these the next thing i picked up isn't something i use every day but i just thought it'd be something cute to do if i'm bored or anything like that i picked up this sudoku book um i actually really like doing sudokus i hope that's how you say it especially like in the summer when i've not got anything to do but there's lots to do in here and i think the front is just really cute i think they had another one of these but it was like word searches or crosswords and again it had like a, a different colour but yeah just some puzzles to do to keep you busy. And I like doing these when it's like hot weather and I like chilling in the garden. It does tell you if it's like an easy, a medium or a really hard Sudoku to do. I'll probably just do all the easy ones because I'm not that clever. So I just picked up this cute Sudoku book. Okay so two more things I picked up. I picked up this Sun and Sand Sun Cream Lotion SPF 50. So they did have like the main brand i can't remember what it's called the main sun cream brand but those were two pounds and 
I don't really burn apart from on my shoulders so I just picked this up just to apply on my shoulders um, so I only need a small one so this one's uh, this one's only 75 mil but again for a pound you can't go wrong I think it's just an, a great price for a sun cream because sometimes you can pay like six pounds for a sun cream which just blows my mind anyway then I picked up this frizz ease and fabulous anti frizz serum so I picked this up for my hair because my hair's not frizzy or anything but after I first blow dry it sometimes I get like the few odd hairs just like going off on their own so it's just basically just to flatten them down a little bit or sometimes if you know when you go to sleep funny and you go to bed and your hair's like you wake up and your hair's like this and it's got like a i think they call it cow's lick and your hair's like stuck stuck up in one place yeah that is also for that to see because sometimes that happens to my hair so yeah so this is what i picked up and yeah it was only pound i don't know how good it's going to be but again it's just for those flyaway hairs so yeah, this was the last thing that I picked up in my haul. That is everything I picked up. I hope you enjoyed watching. I really enjoy filming like haul videos, especially from like Poundland and Home Bargains. If you want to see a Home and Bargains haul soon, please let me know down in the comments and I will go and pick some stuff up. I haven't been to Home and Bargains in ages either, like a good few months. So I'd love to go again. So please let me know in the comments as well if you'd like me to go. Please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button if you love this video. And please don't forget to subscribe. I would love you to help support me on my channel. So yeah, that is the end of today's video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.